Young, any chance that GP services report is ready? Oh, I'm so sorry I got bogged down. You should be passing more on to the new girl. Oh, she's not quite up to speed. Look, I'll drop this and get right onto it. It was here. Was it in the photocopier, perhaps? Oh. Well, the photocopy is gone. It's just not my lucky day, is it? Well, I don't know what to say. For all I know, Bella's washing it in the sink. Oh, is she not the sharpest knife in the drawer? Oh, she means well, but we'd better find her before she starts doing something to your notes. Hi. 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 <laughs> um, do you need left home? Five minutes. Uh, could you hold the fort? Sure. Can I ask how important this job is to you? Something I'm qualified to do? Gerald could do it too, though, if he did the management course that he's been offered. I suppose. What's this about? It's about maybe he needs the job more than you. He works so hard, and he was that excited about stepping up. I'm sorry to hear that. Good. So maybe you could try for something else. You did well in the States. It should be easy to find another job here. <laughs> did Gerald ask you to fight his fights for him? No, of course not. Then let's keep it that way. He's my friend too, you know? Sometimes you have to pay the price of a friendship. <laughs> when I got back, the bear was half-skinned, and my fellow club members looked like something out of a, um, a zombie movie. <laughs> you live a truly bizarre life, Dr. Gerbil. <clears throat> Tell them the one where you're in Haiti, and you got butt naked and had to take part in the booty ceremony. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> It was more than one. Oh, certainly. Oh, you couldn't meet nicer folk. Very interesting religion. <laughs> you believe this guy? <laughs> nice look. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Can I interest you in a cocktail? Thanks, but I'm just after some takeaways. Ah, not a problem. You've got a good crowd. The cocktail thing works. It's because Brody is a cocktail god. I know that look. Sorry? The look of love. Uh, the risotto is particularly good tonight. Don't be shy, I know all about it. About what? You and Sophie. Is it that obvious? I think it's sweet. What's the problem? Well, for one, she's my boss. Oh, Maya's my boss. We manage. I'm, I'm not really sure that she feels the same way. You make her happy. Look at her. Nothing matters more than that. Well done, boy. I can't imagine where she has got to. Sorry about that. I think I'm just going to leave it. Oh. Oi! What are you up to? And where is Dr. Potts' report? And the photocopier. And there. Ah, my report. Except I ran out of staples. I was just going to get some more. Oh, that's OK. This is great. I'll just, I'll do the rest later. These are really good, by the way. Thanks. Why bring everything in here? I thought I'd learn to use the coffee on my break. I did. Mostly. Well, thanks, Bella. <clears throat> Why couldn't you have done this in triage? I thought you'd stop me. Why would I st Perhaps we should do the rest of your training in triage. Come on. Let's get this stuff out of here. OK. Full marks for initiative, Bella. Or leave that, the boys will pick it up later. Oh, it's not that heavy. Oh! How many days a week do you do unpaid overtime? Five? Why? You don't mind? I enjoy getting the job done. It's tragic, I know. Uh, can I have a moment, please? I'll wait for you downstairs. Some guard dog you've got there. Well, she's been a very good friend to me. And I haven't. I've come back all fired up for the job you're going for. Well, it's not your fault. I would have told you about it, but you stopped posting on my life. Well, I've been busy. My point is, just because I'm in the race, it doesn't mean you have to drop out. You deserve a chance. Maybe, but I won't get the job. Not without your qualifications. Well, maybe I'm overqualified. Besides, you're already working here. You've showed your loyalty to this place, so I just took off to try my luck. It's not luck that you got as far as you did. You worked hard to make your opportunities. Yeah, and as for that, as, as for that, it could be you who gets lucky. You deserve the job just as much as I do. 
Have you got a new workstation? Yeah, Brooke helped talk Callum into it. And you're using a numbered filing system? Uh, numbers and colour code. Alphabet's so 20th century. <laughs> How could you possibly prefer numbers to letters? Well, using numbering in a colour coding system is logical. It allows me to find what I need instantly. It took me weeks to get this place sorted. Thanks very much. Oh, I didn't mean that your system was wrong. I just prefer my way. Well, if I get the EA job, it'll be alphabet all the way, hospital-wide. And if I get the job, it won't be. However, the PA job here will be available. You can do what you like then. <laughs> no, no, no. Wonderful evening. No, no, no. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Hopefully we'll be having another cocktail <laughs> evening soon. Hopefully. <laughs> Tell your friends. Well do. <laughs> <laughs> Great night, by the looks of it. Brilliant. <laughs> Cocktail evening was officially a success. Huge laughs, record profits, and all thanks to Brody's genius. Yeah, well, I've got to say, um, the last thing I expected was you and him getting it on. Come again. What, was he a rebound guy, or what? Whoa. You think that Brody and I slept together last night? Well, yeah. <laughs> OK, not that it's any of your business, but no, we didn't. So you two aren't hooking up? No way. As if. He's an employee, end of. 